It can be said that the best camera to shoot with is the one you already own, and the one that you already have in your hand. The one that you carry with you every day. Because that allows you to take pictures when you want them, and when you see that beautiful moment, that indescribable, unique moment in time that you notice and you wanna, you wanna save for recapturing later. You wanna save the emotion. That camera allows you to hold all the subtlety and the, the beauty of the moment in just a single shutter click. That camera, for me, is the Rolly 35. This tiny little 35 millimeter rangefinder is quirky and strange and weird and unconventional, but its tiny size, Zeiss lens, and unique carryability makes it the perfect camera for me and the perfect camera to challenge not only my abilities as a photographer, but reintroduce me into the storytelling and the capturing of, of a beautiful image. Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a film photographer based in San Diego. And I wanted to shed some light on this little beauty right here. first handful of rolls that I've shot through this camera and I've found that the images it produces are fantastic for color photography but also for black and white and I think that's where this camera really shines is in, in black and white photography. It's contrasty but shows the full depth of the of the light in the image. It shows the sharpness and the shadows and in the softness of the highlights. It's a very important thing for a photographer to have a camera on them at all times, regardless if it's digital or film or even your, just your phone, um, because it allows you to not miss that opportunity. I've had so many instances where I'm at a, at a place or with friends or an instance where I want to capture something and I don't have the camera on me, and it's disappointing. It's It makes you want to come back to that that same moment and recapture it, but it's hard because it'll never be exactly the same. And to have a, a camera as capable as this in its form factor on you at all times is, it's really priceless. Just a fantastic thing to have with you. And it keeps me honest with my photography. It keeps me engaged. It, it keeps me passionate about the art and wanting to produce more.
to enjoy and capture the beauty of everyday life. Because I had the camera, I was able to capture like that, those exact beautiful little small moments on those walks, on those journeys, and the exact way the wave was crashing that'll never be the same again. Um, I think that's something that's very beautiful about having a camera like this on you at all times. That it's a moment that when you really sit with it, it's profoundly unique and heavy and it allows you to really appreciate everything that you're sitting in and you're breathing and you're seeing and you're absorbing and you're feeling on your skin. And that's something that you can capture to your best ability with a camera like this one. The beauty of this little camera is that as important as it is to make sure your exposure and your composition and the lighting and everything is all correct and beautiful for the image that you're trying to create, this camera makes it easy to just, just take the picture and ensure that you don't miss out on this, on a beautiful moment in time. It doesn't compare to the likes of a, like a medium format camera like, like my Mamiya 645, but it's that's not the point of the camera. The camera is to have on you and get an image, just capture the image that you're experiencing right then and there. It's not to produce super professional high resolution work, though you probably can do it with a tripod and some good lighting, but it's to have on you and take pictures that are, are worth taking in the moment. This camera definitely takes some getting used to at first as all the orientations for a traditional 35 millimeter camera, the traditional layout is all different. I mean, it's it's all over the place here. Your aperture and shutter dials are these weird vertical oriented dials and um, because it's a rangefinder, the focus is all through the lens. There's the shutter count is on the bottom of the camera. So sometimes you can get lost just taking pictures and all of a sudden you're out of a roll and you, you're not even paying attention to how many pictures you're shooting, but that's almost a beautiful thing with this camera because you get so involved in, in taking the picture, you're not worried about the shutter count, you're not worried about, oh, do I have to load another roll of film anytime soon. The shutter button is just this little tiny guy on the top and the advance is actually on the left side. It's opposite to the, the traditional 35 millimeter camera. That quirkiness, that uniqueness with the camera is almost like a, a surprise when you finally develop the film and you see that there, there was a slight difference in, in the shot you made, but that difference could be beneficial to the, the story. 
The 40 mil f2.8 size sonar lens on here is fantastic. It's wonderfully sharp. Um, it's more than enough for your everyday use. And it's nice and compact. It slinches right down into the body when you are done with it. And it's it's just an un unbeatable package for such a small full frame 35 millimeter camera. It's it's hard to complain about anything about this camera once you get used to its its quirk. Although it's compact nature and specs and lens and physical attributes originally drew me to the camera, it's the images and the, the usability and the pocketability of, of the camera that continues to inspire me to make photographs, to, to produce images and to sit in moments and to cherish moments that I'm living in. It recenters me and allows me to love the life I'm living by capturing a physical copy of that moment, of that collection of emotions and feelings. I recommend a camera like the Rolly 35 or anything that's compact and takes photos that you can have with you that you, that encourages you to shoot. A camera doesn't inspire you to shoot. There's little to no reason to have the camera on you. And with this, just something about the the whole collection of its pieces and, and parts, it really has pushed me to a, a new level with photography, a new understanding with photography, and, and hopefully it does for you as well. So I would highly recommend this camera, something similar, even a digital alternative, just something that you can have with you every day that works but also inspires you and keeps the creative juices flowing for you so that you can cherish moments that you're living in and to find meaning in everyday moments that normally would just pass us by. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.